In today's video, we're talking all about what an RSS feed is for your podcast and how you can set one up easily. Oh my gosh, what is an RSS feed? If you are starting a podcast, this is probably the first technical thing that you have to overcome before your podcast can go live into the world. So in today's video, we are breaking this down about what an RSS feed is and how you can easily set one up. My name is Haley Hakers, and I'm the owner of Espresso Podcast Production, where you can come and learn all things podcasting from me. I help turn businesses and creatives into successful podcasters through my strategies. And today we're talking all about step one, starting the RSS feed so you can actually start publishing your podcast. In simple terms, an RSS feed is just the source where you will upload every single podcast episode to, so then it can then be dispersed into Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and any other place where the podcast streams. So instead of manually sending out your podcast to Apple, Spotify, or any other websites, you just upload it to one website and it does it all for you. This is very, very simple, and every single podcast must have an RSS feed to actually be streaming on any platforms. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, do I have to do this? Yes, but just know every other podcast has done this as well. As a full-time podcast manager, this is exactly what I help my clients with in my podcast launch service, where I will take their podcast and get it live for them. We'll talk about the trailer episode, intro and outro, I will do all the editing and getting your podcast up and running. So here you'll see my step-by-step -step process that I do for my actual clients. There are many different websites where you can actually upload your podcast to, and it's all personal preference. So for example, there's Spotify for Podcasters, which is a free website where you can upload your podcast and get it live through the RSS feed. There are also other platforms such as Libsyn, Podbean, Buzzsprout, where these are pretty low cost, anywhere from $15 to $30 a month typically, and they will also host your podcast. So while this might be confusing why there's so many podcast platforms out there, I'm here to break it down for you. They are essentially all the same, but I will say you get what you pay for. So let's talk about Spotify for podcasters first. Spotify for podcasters was Anchor in the past and recently rebranded to Spotify for podcasters. And this is a free website where you can set up your podcast. This is great for anyone who's doing this as a hobby or isn't sure if podcasting is for you, but you want to try it out. Now, I will say you get what you pay for. So the stats on Spotify for podcasters is not as great as it might be for a paid website. And also the way it embeds into websites is not as aesthetically pleasing as other ones. But if you are just wanting to start a podcast low cost, easy, this is going to be for you. All the links that I'm mentioning will be in the description of this video. Other websites that I use for my clients are Libsyn, Podbean, and Buzzsprout. Today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to upload your podcast with Podbean, but these are all great websites, relatively low cost, but they do show great stats and they embed a lot better into your website. Today I'm picking Podbean because the client I am uploading this podcast for liked the way it embedded into their websites and they liked the fact that it had better analytics than Spotify for podcasters. Stay tuned because I will show you how easy it is to actually set up your RSS feed with Podbean. This is Podbean's website. You can go over pricing here. And this video is not sponsored, but this is a great website that I use for my clients. So let me show you from step one. This is a account that I literally just logged into. I just created a new account by putting in my email and a password. So once you log in, all you need to do is put in your email and password, then this is the page it brings you to. You'll see here that there is nothing in here yet. So they give you step-by-step -step how to actually do it. So go to setup, you'll put your podcast title, a podcast description, and podcast categories. So make sure that you scroll through here and see what most closely aligns to you because once your podcast is successful, 
this is where it will rank in Apple Podcast. So if you go here to the charts, this is where it will rank. So make sure that you are putting in thought to what podcast categories best fit yours. Then you will upload a podcast logo and fill out your name, information, country, and any other information that it's asking for here. So once all of the general description has been set up, this is for a client that I'm launching their podcast. We put in the show description, business and marketing, and then we're going to connect some subcategories here. So I'm going to go with education and then also just business as a whole. Now I'm going to upload an image for the logo here. You are now ready to upload your first trailer episode. Be sure to come back to the next video because I will be going over everything your trailer episode needs to have, but let's keep going with setting up the RSS feed. So to upload your first episode, it's going to take you to this page where it says publish episode. You're going to include the show description for this episode as well as a title. For this, I usually just recommend putting trailer and then the podcast name. And then you're going to go to more episode settings. You're going to put this as a trailer episode and then you can press publish. Now, once you press publish, you are not done quite yet, but you do have the first step completed. Now it's time to distribute your podcast to all the podcast platforms through that RSS feed. Now you can distribute your podcast by clicking on this. So it will bring you to a page with all of the podcast apps. Now some of these you will need accounts for and some of them will not. Now just know that any podcast platform that you are using will have this. Every website makes this quite simple so no need to worry. You can always message us with any questions that you have. Now, Apple Podcasts and Spotify are the two biggest players right now, so let's talk about how we can set those up. It has a great training video for you here, so if you get lost along the way, you can always go back to that to look, but it is quite simple. You're going to go here, press Next, copy the RSS feed, and then submit it to Apple. Here, you will need to log in with your Apple ID. If you already have one, great. If you want to start a new one, create yours now. And then you will just follow the steps to get through there. The other podcast app that has a lot of traction with it that you're definitely going to want to be on is Spotify. Spotify is a little bit different. I would say it's easier than Apple. So this one, all the steps are here. You're just going to press next. You're going to request that your podcast is on here by clicking all three of these and submitting to Spotify. Now, congratulations, your podcast is already on Spotify at this point. It may take up to 48 hours to two weeks to actually upload, but typically for my clients, it either happens within a few hours or a few days. So if you run into any questions along the way, feel free to message us on Instagram or send us an email. Like I said, this is easier than it looks. Doing anything technical is always nerve wracking the first time, but the great thing is once you have this set, you never have to do it again. Next week, we're talking about how to create a trailer episode. So be sure you subscribe so you're alerted exactly when the next video will come out. And if you have any questions, Questions, come and connect with us on Instagram at Espresso Podcast Production or send us an email through our website, EspressoPodcastProduction.com. I wish you all the best in setting up your RSS feed, and I cannot wait for you to finally start the podcast that you've been dreaming of. If you found this helpful, make sure that you subscribe to us and come back next week to learn about all things podcasting here at Espresso Podcast Production. Mm-hmm.